Uh, the next letter is from Jessica. And she says, hi. <laughs> I'm not sure what the first, first line is. Actually, I do. So she must be responding to something. Um, and then she goes on. My daughter, Sadie, is 16. She's intuitive and aware of what is happening in the world and how the frequencies and energies are changing. For the last two months, she has been unable to eat any type of meat. She's not a fish eater either. Meat just makes her sick. I was wondering what supplements I should be getting her on and if her body is missing any nutrients. Also, I was wondering if her body is getting ready for the change coming in the world. It's possible. Um, thanks for all you do. I've learned a tremendous amount from the books and videos. Much gratitude, Jessica. So uh, a couple things. Um, this brings back a lot of memories, Jessica. Um, so a couple, a couple things to keep in mind. Um, first of all, um, there, uh, there may be an issue of uh, too many heavy metals or too much iron in the system. Um, if she's been eating meat all her life and all of a sudden she's getting sick, sometimes there's an accumulation of toxins, especially iron. Iron builds up in the body. Um, and it interferes with gut bacteria, which then stop digesting, which then meat gets, turns to putrefaction in the gut, and, the, and he gets sick. Can't stand it. So there could be a, a buildup of iron in the system, and she should maybe consider doing some detox. If it was me, I would start doing some zeolite. Um, so the um, second thing I would say um, has she gone somewhere, visited a, a family, or gone to a temple, or read a book, or watched a movie um, that changed her perception of eating meat, of animals, and how present, and how intelligent, and, and conscious they are, etc. And if that's the case, then um, she, you may not she may not be able to eat meat again. I had a daughter who came home from a friend's house at the age of nine. Um, the friend's house was the Hare Krishna temple. And my daughter announced, I'm not eating meat anymore. And we had this long battle for a couple of years, and I lost. So, <laughs> you know, just be aware that if there's a consciousness change, you can't battle with that. You don't want to because you undermine everything about that child's consciousness over the issue of meat. You can't do that. So um, in terms of nutrients, meat is the most nutrient dense. Um, you know, So I would say that's where you get a lot of your aminos and you also get a lot of iron. Um, if so, she may just have a buildup of iron that needs to be gotten rid of and or um, from a nutrient point of view, just be sure she's taken some amino acids, okay? A full, full formula um, uh, capsule on an empty stomach. And typically they are like three or four capsules uh, a day to get the full complement. Um, follow the directions on the bottle, okay? And it should have, there are 23 amino acids that we have difficulty getting. Nine of those are absolutely essential, which means the body does not produce those. Um, the others, uh, sometimes the body can make the aminos out of the materials on hand. But just to make sure that she gets those which are essential, um, that, you know, the, a, a good formula would be really helpful. <laughs>